Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Christmas lights by Starly and I'm going to do some lead lighting ornaments on it. I have started off with yellow stopper and here is Jade Mystic Gold. It's a hollow polish. Need some bling for the season. Um, I don't know where you can find these polishes anymore. I have seen them on eBay but there used to be a supplier and they no longer sell other indie brands they only sell their brands so i really don't know where to get these anymore um google it <laughs> if you're really interested they do sell some amazing hollows like this one and that's one coat hi woody how you doing so there we go with our first coat it's definitely going to need one more and it probably could have used two more but i'm not going to worry with that today I'm going to be doing some lead lighting and some blinging on top of some of them, so we're just going to stop it too. So, look at there. I'm going to top it off with some Posh Top Coat and get it to dry down on my ring finger and my middle finger. The other ones I'm not putting the top coat on right now because I'm fixing to add some of that Starly Christmas Lights look. Uh, I'm in love with this one. It, the glitter payoff is just insane. I mean, just crazy, crazy. It's not base heavy. It's glitter heavy. And this time of year, oh, any time of year, but especially this time of year. I thought about doing my whole mani in just this. I really did. Because it's just so blingy crazy. And it would go with every outfit because it's got every color in it. So... Anyway, we're going to do that on the pinky pointer and my thumb. And we're going to do something else on the other two. Do a little dab in there. Sometimes you got to do that to get that glitter just where you want it. And I always try to make sure I'm real careful on the ends. Um, there is a glitter sticking out, and I will address it here in just a minute. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. Get up on there. I'm going to put some of the gelish to help um, flatten this out a little bit before I do my top coat. This just kind of fills in the nooks and crannies. It's quite thick and it just helps um, keep your polish from eating so much top coat. Um, I'd rather do a, a nice coat of this and then one coat or two coats of top coat than, you know, a whole bunch of top coat. And here we go with Woody again. Look at that bling going on, you guys. Look. Oh, craziness. So now I'm going to put some posh top coat on it. Let that gelish kind of seep down among all the glitters. Kind of fill it in and help it flatten out. Because I can't stand that stuff to get stuck in my hair, on my clothes, or get caught catching on stuff. I just I can't do it. So I try to, try to do it this way to minimize the catching. So there we go. Today I'm going to be stamping with Funky Fingers and this is Dark Knight. My stamper from Born Pretty and my Clear Jelly Scraper. And this is BMS 219. And I'm just going to use the, all these little ornaments like up at the top just kind of random. I'm just going to pick up some from one end of the plate and some from the other end of the plate. And then I'm going to fill them in with the lead lighting technique with some kind of sheer polishes. I wouldn't really call them jellies. They're the OPI color tints or color paints. So there we go. So I'm going to stamp this directly on my nail. Out of frame, of course. I'm going to clean that stamper off and use the other end of the plate to get some more image for the other finger. Nail, fingernail, fingernail, not finger. Of course I do get some on my finger, so I guess technically it's okay. So there we go. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup with some tape. Look at all that blinginess. And I almost didn't get that Christmas lights polish. But you know, I was like, okay, I'm getting these two Harry Potter ones. Is there anything else? And this one was on sale, and so it just slipped off into my basket, and I had to get it, too. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with some acetone, too. 
because I'm just so bad about that. <laughs> I like to clean up as I go along. It makes the end easier for me. My end game. There we go. There we have it. I'm going to be using the color paints from OPI, and this is Magenta Muse. And then we have Indigo Motif, I think, and then Landscape Artists. And I'm just going in with the dotting tool and filling these in, trying to stay in the lines pretty much, but I don't do an amazing job on it. And that's okay, I don't, I don't really think it mattered. <laughs> and I know gingerbread men are not green. But I had chosen to use these three colors and you know he, he just had to be green this time I'm just kind of randomly using all three of the colors on both of these accent nails um, and I know candy canes are not green either on my other hand the candy cane is red but you know, I'm a rule breaker y'all and I am wiping off my little dotting tool on a paper towel in between the colors because I don't want to mix these colors and have a muddy looking. And that purple is just so dark. That indigo is so dark looking that, you know, it, it almost looks black. But I was okay with that. I mean, because in certain lights, it totally looked blurpily, indigo y, whatever. These would work really great with jelly, jelly polishes, like true jelly polishes. And normally when I do this technique, I normally do it over silver or silver, silver hollow. And, um, but this time I was going for this gold look. So I had to, had to give this a try and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean, I wore it for three or four days, so I had to have liked it at least a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to top this one off. I've let those jellies or those color paints dry down pretty good too because I didn't want to smear them. And I'm going to float this top coat over my accent fingers, accent nails, and um, get it to dry down and we'll call her done. Capping my end. There you have it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this one. And that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.